Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. It's No, it's been a while and the reason is because I ordered this device online and it took a couple of weeks to arrive here. This is a Game Boy Card Flash shirt, so it basically reads original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and you just plug it directly onto your computer and you can back up your save files or write them write them write your games as ROMs onto your computer so you can play them onto your computer with a with an emulator for example so if your game's save files still work and haven't dried up yet you can back these up forever onto your computer unless you of course replace the batteries and that require soldering and such so yeah even if you never played your games for years the batteries could still dry up and you can lose your save files forever. So all you do is just plug in the game into this. And depending, uh, your game might be old, so the pin connectors at, at the bottom here, so they could be worn out. So you may have to do the old in and out method a few times for it to register. And you need a micro USB cable. So if you have a phone that uses a micro USB cable, you can use that, or you can buy these anywhere online for about this, this was like three bucks so just plug this in and we'll go into our computer so it's our computer can we can open the software the GB card flasher so this is the main screen so we we put the card in, so we're just going to click card info. So again, depending on uh, your pin connectors are good or not, you may have to do pull in, pull out method, but yeah, it'll, regist it'll register the game title, so this is Pokemon Blue. It'll give you the size of the ROM and the size of the save file. So remember these numbers, so the ROM is one megabyte. Make sure to change this to one megabyte and the 32 kilobytes for the save file. And here we have different options. The read RAM, this will back up your save copy. The write RAM, you can insert a save copy into the game. Read flash, this will back up your game onto your computer as a ROM. And the write flash, it's only if you have a certain Game Boy flash cards, basically, that allow you to put multiple ROMs into it. So you cannot use Pokemon Blue cartridges and write a Pokemon Red ROM onto it, it won't work. So yeah, you can, so we'll just back up the save file of our blue version, see if it still works, if it hasn't dried up yet. And we'll just call it blue. It'll take no time at all because of the size is only 30 kilobytes. If you want to back up your ROM, It'll take about two minutes. I already did that earlier. So you can use your own, you can use that, or you can just download a ROM online. It, it will be the same thing, it won't be any difference. So once the save file is backed up, you can use your favorite emulator to play your games. Popular ones are BGB or Visual Boy Advance, so just use Visual Boy Advance. So we just go ahead and open our blue version. And we'll have to insert the save file, so we'll just go to load game, import battery file, select our blue save that we just did. I'll give you a warning, just press OK. And my blue version from over 17 years ago still has a working battery, luckily. So yeah, now you can play this onto your computer forever, basically. Until you can, if you decide to buy a new blue version or change the battery yourself, it's up to you. But yeah, unfortunately I wanted to try out uh, my gold version, but I just tested out on my... Game Boy and unfortunately the battery, my gold version is 
depleted, has dried, so my safe file is lost on that. I had a full dex on that too, but that's unfortunate, so I just wanted to show you how this works. Very simple to use, uh, let me just show you on my webcam. So there's the card reader, plugged via USB. The lights don't mean anything, they're just there for aesthetics. You can order one without a casing or without, I just bought one because of the dust collection. But yeah, that's why it took me about a few weeks to buy about this from Spain. So if you wanted to buy one and try it out for yourselves, you could. Uh, next video, I'm going to try something. See if I can get myself a shiny Jirachi from Pokemon Coliseum, the bonus disc. And for that, you are going to need either a GBA EverDrive or an R4 that could insert specific save files from Ruby and Sapphire. So if you want to, if you don't have one of those, you should. If you want to see how I can get one, you can get one yourself. So just stay tuned for my next video. And I'm not sure when it will be, but it will be in the near future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll leave links in the description if I want to buy one of these. One of these devices yourselves. They're pretty neat. So, strange how my blue version save file still works, but my gold's depleted. So even if you don't use the games, the battery could still dry out and you can lose your save file. So, hurry up if you want to save your progress. Otherwise, you're gonna be like me and I lost my save file my gold version that's unfortunate but that's how it is but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time